Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. The upload schedule has been a little bit all over the place because as you may be able to hear, I caught a bit of a cold. It just happens in December. So I am fresh out of the shower. Yesterday was a whole mess. I did not vlog. I barely did anything. Today we are trying to revive ourselves, drink lots of fluids, all of the vitamin C, ginger shots, everything to try to make this go away. Today I am prepping for a lot of exciting things. I got more bows, so I wanna add to our Christmas tree. Tomorrow we have a lot of kids coming for Kids Miss. The first time I'm trying to do it this year, now that Luca's in daycare, we invited all of the kids that he goes to daycare with over for cookie baking. So I need to prep some of the doughs and pre-bake some cookies. And also for hosting the parents, I have some mulled wine, some snacks and all of that good stuff. And I need to get my nails done because they are looking horrendous. I am juggling video editing with being a mom, with hosting over the holiday season before we head home for the holidays to my parents' house. So I'm gonna take you guys along, show you what a little December day in my life looks like when I'm not out gallivanting through the streets filming for Vlogmas. And we are going to get some things done and then we're gonna make the most epic hot chocolate because Jackson went out last night and got all the ingredients and I'm super excited. We're talking whipped cream, sprinkles, gingerbread cookies, marshmallows like the whole deal so that is going to be my reward later today and we still have four more days of vlogmas so get excited but today we are going to chill out We have successfully mailed the giveaway package and now I'm going to get these nails fixed. back from nails and look I went for burgundy I feel like today's theme is going to be bows and burgundy because I've been really into the two so I'm also going to be putting on my favorite burgundy lip combo this is Chanel 109 Rouge Noir it's my absolute favorite burgundy lip it's super dark and I'm going to be applying that with the most beat up Yves Saint Laurent pencil in the color one lip liner. And it's just, you can tell how much I've used it. I used to have an Armani one that was an even better match, but they discontinued unfortunately and I lost it. So very sad. So I'm just gonna line my lips with my trusty makeup mirror. There they are aligned. It's not a super dark red, but it's okay. It's going to come together. And then the Chanel. And voila, I feel like this gives a very wine stained lip effect, which I love. It's a very holiday feeling, isn't it? When you've had a couple glasses of red wine over dinner and your lips start to turn like a little bit red. So I like this kind of effect and it matches my nails perfectly. To finish off the look, my go-to winter fragrance is by The Fireplace by Maison Margiela. I just generously spritz this 
basically everywhere. I also really like to spritz this all over my scarves and coat because when I go out and I'm all bundled up, I love to get a whiff. And then I felt like this outfit needed an accessory, so we are going with the Cezanne necklace. There we go. And finally, I got more ribbon and I have been dying to put some in my hair. So I haven't worn my hair like this in years, but I'm kind of curious what it's going to look like. All right, the hair is up. So now that we've got the bow and the hair sorted, let's put a bunch of bows on this tree. I got the same ribbon that I used on the wreath, but in a white color instead of red, again from Paper Source. And we are going to add them right into this tree to see what it looks like. Very ballet core, but I'm very into it right now, just like everybody else. Time to test out the hot chocolate. I'm so excited. Mmm, yep. Whipped cream, marshmallows, sprinkles, gingerbread man. This is the way to do it. This is so good. I'm gonna enjoy this before I have to go pick up Luca from daycare. Good morning! It's the day of the kids cookie party and I've been up since 6 a.m. Um, making cookies for decorating and it's looking so good. It is now 10 and everyone's gonna arrive at 11 and Luca is super excited to get into these sprinkles. So let me show you the setup in case you have kids and or you're curious and then I'm gonna show you the after when they're done because I have a feeling it's going to be chaotic, but it should be a lot of fun. So here it is. You excited? Who are we waiting for? We're waiting for some friends, right, Luca? Yeah. Oh, and then we were in the Lower East Side for like seven years before that. Wow. 
And that is it for Vlogmas Day 8. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this cozy couple of days at home and maybe got inspired to bake some Christmas cookies. I am now headed out into the city for the next video, so stay tuned for some more Christmas decorations. But if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will probably see you again tomorrow. Bye! Oh,